hi there trust you're doing well today wherever you're watching from wherever you're listening from today i'm going to share something with you um, to encourage you that god is busy whether you can see what's happening around you or not god is doing something and what how the way i know this is there's a word that's sticking in my in my brain all the time it's the word activation and so what I did was I looked up the meaning of the word activation and it is this the action or process of making something active or operative and then when it speaks of chemistry it says the process of making a substance chemically or catalytically active sounds very um, intelligent very intellectual but I want to tell you this is what I feel the Holy Spirit is doing and if he's doing it with me, he's doing it with more than one of you, if not all of you. Um, is that there's the sense of we've been marking time, we've been standing still for a long time, and it's been very necessary learning to rest and to only move when God says move. But I feel there's an activation that's been happening on the inside of us. There's a, a stirring, an agitation of the spirit, and some people are feeling frustrated because they want to get out and do things, but they can't. And so I'm going to tell you a few things that I feel God has been saying to me out of this activation. Um, and I like this, the action or process of making something active or operative. And we can't do that ourselves. God is doing that by his spirit. And so one of the things that we need to have is an expectancy, an expectancy to see God move again, an expectancy to hear from God, an expectancy to be able to step out and do what you feel God's given you to do. An expectancy is a faith that you have that God is going to fulfill what he promised you. Um, so the one thing that we can do is to worship while we wait. That's how we, we if we can't actively do something, we get our faith in, into action by worshipping while we wait. It's so easy when you feel this, you've got this vision or you've got this excitement about doing something or you know this change coming, but you can't actually physically do it. And so it's, it's frustrating. I've been there many times. Um, we had prophetic words spoken over our lives when we first went into ministry. We knew we were called to travel and we would have these words, I'm sending you to the nations and... We couldn't make that happen because we didn't know anybody out there in the nations. Um, we didn't know how to get this thing going. But God kept saying, wherever we, we went, wherever we got a prophetic word, I'm, I've called you to the nations. And back in those days, we drove a little mini car. We, we weren't um, flying everywhere to go and minister. We weren't in great demand. So it was just a promise out there. But we knew that God could do this thing. And we waited for 10 years before we left this country to go to the nations. And we know there's still so much more to come. But now, in the time of waiting, where there's this frustration that you know this is what God wants you to do, but you know the timing is not right. And so there's a sense of, I'm just waiting until God decides to do it. And so there comes a time where, when it's the timing of God for that thing to happen, that thing that he's promised you, there's an excitement that, that just comes out of nowhere, but we know it's the Spirit of God. So there's an expectancy that begins to arise or be awakened in your heart. And, and you begin to, there's the sense of, I'm expecting a change you know something has changed and this is what I'm feeling that the season has changed and we're about to experience God in a new way and we're about to to become actively involved in what he is doing well we up until now we've waited we've prayed we've stood the test of time and now we're standing on the threshold of something exciting and something new so it until we can actually do it Worship while you wait. That's so important. And as you worship, the expectancy just increases. If you haven't had an expectancy before, if it's just frustration, the more you worship while you wait, the more God's going to speak to you and the more expectancy you have. So this worship while you wait is so important. I'm going to do a live session on that um, very soon. The, the other thing, let me read a scripture to you. Proverbs 31 from the Passion Translation from verse 16 says this. She sets her heart upon a nation and takes it as her own, carrying it within her. That's like 
this expectancy for what God has said he's going to do. Everybody's waiting for the glory of God, for an outpouring, for revival, for harvest, for the new season. We're all waiting for the to, to see what God is going to do. So it's like um, our heart is set upon that and we're carrying the promise. The church is carrying the promise of God for the new season, for the revival, for the harvest, whatever it is. The church worldwide is carrying this promise of God. And then it says, she labors there to plant the living vines. She wraps herself in strength, might, and power in all her works. We need to wrap ourselves ourselves in the strength of God in the might and the power of God wrap yourself in that by worshiping him by by lifting his name up by bringing him into your situation and worshiping him even if you can't see what he said we're still going to worship him because he's worthy of that she tastes and experiences a better substance and her shining light will not be extinguished. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. And the glory of the Lord will be seen upon you, even though there is dark, deep darkness around us. That's my paraphrase. Um, so her shining light will not be extinguished, no matter how dark the night. Now, I want to say to you, there's something that I learned when I was doing some research about the eagle um, a few years ago. And we get the term spread eagled. Uh, from this and you know spread eagled is where you're lying flat down on your face spread out you spread eagled um, and so when the eagle um, is unwell it's eaten something it shouldn't have eaten um, what, what it does is it flies you know eagles are very clever animals are very clever but this eagle flies to the highest point it can find and it spreads its wings out there, lies on a rock, spreads its wings out there. In other words, it's spread eagled. Can you imagine this eagle with the wingspan, how many feet the wingspan is? And it's spread out there and it stays in that position in the sun because that time in the sun will deal with any toxins and any parasites that that eagle has been battling with. And it stays in that spread eagle position until it's well enough to fly again. And so if you feel that you're in this place where there's the expectancy, yes, but there's the frustration and you know that you can't do anything about it. I want to say to you, don't let those parasites, don't let those little, little enemies, those little foxes, the distractions, the lies from the enemy, the... The fear, maybe the anxiety. Don't let those things rob you, but get into the presence of God and worship Him. That's what I see that eagle doing, spending time in the sun, knowing that in the in the sun, sunlight, those things are going to be dealt with, and once again, it's going to take off and fly with wings like an eagle. But it has to have those that time of being spread eagled. So I want to say to you, get yourself into a position of worship. Because as God is activating things in the spiritual realm and there are changes happening and he wants us all to be positioned correctly, we're carrying, remember, we're carrying the promise of God, the promise of great things to come, the promise of the glory of God see, being seen upon his people. So we're carrying it. So worship him. So begin to thank him for what he's promised you. Begin to worship him that he is able to, for his glory to be seen upon his church. So he's able to, to do um, whatever he said he was going to do. And as you worship him, you wrap yourself in strength, might, and power. And you will taste and experience a better substance. God does not intend for your shining light to be extinguished, no matter how dark the night. Remember that. And so the, um, the other thing I keep remembering, that the meaning of the, the word testimony means to do again. And so as you worship God, as you worship while you wait, remember the testimonies that you have. Those powerful testimonies of the involvement of God in your life and the answers to prayer that you, that you have. You've got a collection of testimonies. So begin to worship Him. Begin to remember your testimonies. And as you remember your testimonies, remember that He will do it again. So be encouraged with that today. God is about to do some great things. So allow yourself to be activated. Remember activation, the action or process of making something active or operative. Or the process of making a substance chemically or catalytically active. Those chemicals coming together and causing some, some action. So the Spirit of God in you 
as you worship while you wait, there are great things coming for you. So be encouraged with that today.